Hi, I'm Gogo, and I road race motorcycles. Been doing it for 20 years. During the years that I've raced with Vance and Leathers, I've always tried to say why I thought they were great, why they protected me so well. But I've never been successful. I've never been able to get that point across. Today, I'm gonna get that point across. Nobody wants to crash, but we all know you ride long enough, you race long enough, it's gonna happen. Lots of different kinds of crashes, two main ones being a low side and a high side. Low sides don't hurt that much. You're falling from two feet off the ground, it's not a big deal. 40 miles an hour, 140 miles an hour, you're just dragging, it's just abrasion. That's what you're trying to protect yourself from. And Vance and Leathers do a great job, but to be perfectly honest, most leathers are gonna do a good job. Most leathers will protect you well enough from road rash, at least once. Now our high side is a horse of a different color. <laughs> a high side is like being dragged naked through hell. A high side is like getting mugged by 19 wild, ravaging animals. So that was a little over the top. But the point is, high sides really hurt. You hit the ground right or wrong, and you will shatter your elbows. You will separate your shoulders. You will wreck your body. Your bones just explode. And this is one of the reasons that I love Vance and Leather so much. One of the things that they do so well is they take that pinpoint energy, that pinpoint impact, and they spread it over a larger area. The odd thing is, in talking to people here on the West Coast, when I We'll talk about Vance and talk about armor, talk about crashes. And sometimes, not very often, but sometimes people bring up, oh my God, you can't use armor. You can't have armor in a suit because it, in a crash, it'll rotate and, and, and pinch your muscles and, and cause damage. So, so to keep the plastic part of the armor from rotating and pinching your muscles, Vance sews a leather pad around the edge of the plastic armor all around. Everywhere where there's plastic, there's leather sewn around the edges to keep it from pinching and from cutting your skin. Vanson also designed and owns the patent for a very special system of securing the armor inside your leathers in such a way that it won't shift on your body during impact. Time for another story. Uh, I know a guy out here on the West Coast who was running with custom made in America leathers that don't have armor. And um, he high-sided, flipped through the air, smashed his elbow, among other things, and destroyed it inside. And many operations later, the best he can do is, it's about this is as close to straight as it'll ever be. That really sucks, I, I feel really bad. One of the things I feel that I've never said is, if he had armor in his leathers, maybe none of that would've happened. Which brings me to yet another story. July 2009, Laguna Seca, MotoGP weekend. I find myself battling for 20th place. Things didn't work out so good for me. I went up the inside of somebody in turn 11, over the handlebars I go, and I hit the ground really hard. It's late in the race, I'm tired, I'm 43 years old, and I'm face planting the pavement. My shoulder's in the ground, it's all bad. Now that made the highlight reel of the AMA banquet, which is great. What didn't make the highlight real is I wasn't rushed off in an ambulance. I wasn't flown to Dr. Ting's to get my this wired to my that. I got up, I picked up the bike, and I continued on the race. There was only a few more laps, but in those few more laps, we set the fastest lap of our entire race with a bent handlebar, a bent foot peg, and a high-sided body. So what does that say? That says my Vans and Leathers did a fantastic job of protecting me against that bone chipping, joint crushing impact that you experience in a high side or any type of impact crash. So I've thought about this for a while, years in fact, how I can get the message across to people that might not know otherwise how good Vance and Leathers are. So I'm prepared to make a sacrifice. Behind me are four sets of leathers, all of which I've raced with, all of which I've crashed with, all of which have taken very good care of me. It's all moving. One of them, I'm gonna destroy for you, because I love you. Thanks to the others.
Okay, so there you have it. This is what's protecting your arm. Let's even put these on for a second. My poor leathers. So you've got leather, closed cell phone padding, more leather, an eighth of an inch of plastic, a half an inch of closed cell phone padding, and then three eighths of an inch of more closed cell phone padding to spread the impact over a large area. One, two, three bombs your uncle. These leathers work. So I hope you learned something today about fancy leathers that you didn't already know. For two reasons. One, I'm out of set of leathers. And two, when things go wrong, and they do go wrong, on the racetrack, out on the road, shit happens. And when it does, Vanson's got your back. <laughs>